Hi guys, a hearty welcome to today's chemistry session. Today, in this session, let's have a discussion on classification of amines. So we will see in this session, how to distinguish a primary amine, a secondary amine or a tertiary amine. Okay, so this is going to be important in the point of view of exam because you will have a question sure. Uh, to identify or to distinguish which is the primary or secondary or tertiary amine from the given examples. So we have to know how can we identify a primary amine or a secondary amine. So listen me carefully. See you know that science is full of tricks and techniques. Once you know that trick, it's going to be very simple. So I am going to give you the trick to identify. By seeing any example, you will be able to identify which will be the primary amine tertiary amine or secondary amine. So we will see. See, you know that amine is a derivative of ammonia. Okay. Ammonia is NH3. This is ammonia. N and 3 hydrogen. So any of this hydrogen is substituted by alkyl or anyl group. That is why R. R stands for R stands for alkyl or aryl group. Okay, uh, so any of this hydrogen is substituted by R, it can be amine. Okay, so in that we have, we are now trying to understand which will be a primary amine or a secondary amine or a tertiary amine. You can see here, number of substituents, ammonia we are taking, in ammonia if number of substituents are 0, that is ammonia itself. Okay, NH3, this is ammonia, this is the example. Okay. And now here, if number of substituents is 1, you see here, that is known as primary amine. So this is R. So this hydrogen, one hydrogen is replaced by one R. It can be, this R can be alkyl or allyl group. Okay. Any hydrogen in ammonia is replaced, any one hydrogen is replaced by alkyl or aryl group, then that particular compound is known as primary amine and this is the formula. For example, this is the example. This ethyl group. This is ethyl group. This ethyl group is an R. 1 R, 2 hydrogen, N. Okay, see this one. This particular example is uh, can be written like this. In, an, uh, in a broad sense, we can write this uh, particular example like this C2 H5 okay, N H H. This is the example. So, this is one in ammonia, one H is replaced by an R. Okay. So, this is a primary amine. So, this is a primary amine. So, in order to understand whether the given amine is primary or secondary or tertiary, where you have to look? You have to look into that nitrogen. Where How many hydrogen is associated with the nitrogen? That's all. Very simple. Right? You just look into the given amine, given N. How many hydrogen are attached to it? So here two hydrogen are attached to it. And only one R. So this is primary amine. Okay? Now, we will see if number of substituents are 2, then that will be secondary amine. If secondary amine, how many hydrogen atoms will be replaced by R? 2 hydrogen atoms will be replaced by R, that is either alkyl group or aryl group. So, this is the compound form and this is secondary amine. So, how many hydrogen atoms are there associated with nitrogen? Only 1 hydrogen. Only one hydrogen is there in the given compound. If only one hydrogen is there in the given compound, that amine will be secondary amine. Very easy, right? Just look to N. How many hydrogen atoms are attached to that particular N? Then, if only one, that will be secondary amine. If there are two hydrogen atoms are attached to N, that will be a primary amine. So, we will see the example. Ethyl, two ethyl groups are attached. Here two R. R groups are there, two R are there. See, two. R group, two R are there. And 
This is NH, okay? So, it's NH. So, NH, only one hydrogen. So, that is secondary amine. We'll see how that, uh, will look like, that example, how it will look like. C2H5, so that it will be clear for you. That's why I'm writing it again. C2H5, N. Again, one more C2H5. We have two C2H5 here. So, C2H5 and then one H is there. This is like this. And so, this is a secondary amine. Clear, right? It's very simple. Look to this N, how many nitrogen atoms are bonded to it. If there is only one, that is going to be a secondary amine. Okay. Now, we will see if number of substituents are three, that is tertiary amine. You see, we have only one nitrogen here. It is not having, it is not bonded with any of the hydrogen. But all this nitrogen, all its valence is uh, uh, completed by alkyl or adyl group except this lone pair of electrons. Okay. So, we have at the hydrogen, we don't have any, so at the nitrogen, sorry, at the nitrogen, we don't have any hydrogen atoms bonded to. And so, no doubt, you can write this is a tertiary amine. So, let's see how we can write that particular example. See, it will be looking like this. C2H5N. So, we have the lone pairs. C2H5. And we have three here, right? So, C2H5. And this is a tertiary amine. So, you got the idea to find out how to distinguish which will be a primary amine, which will be a secondary amine and which will be a tertiary amine. Very simple, right? Just look into the given compound of amine. In that, how many hydrogen atoms are there with the nitrogen? If there are two hydrogen atoms are with the nitrogen, then that is a primary amine. If there is only one hydrogen with the nitrogen, and then it is a secondary amine. If there is no hydrogen atoms are bonded with nitrogen, then that is a tertiary amine. Whereas all those hydrogen atoms are replaced by alkyl or aryl group. And then that is called a tertiary amine. It's very simple, right? So we will do some examples to make it clear for you and then it will be more clear to you. Okay?